and workflow also i propose to have workflow edw subject area followed by a job id and followed by a workflow name that makes sense for me and uh, uh, the number 99 is, is is optional actually why i have put that is workflow will also have an identity saying in this job i have 10 workflows so i started giving a number 01 for the first workflow 0203 so that all the 10 workflows will be ordered sequentially when we look at a job we will see that in a bit when i show you the template you will understand why we require the numbering there and followed by the same as data flows you will also put it with a number subject area and a job id so that they are all attached to each other so that is about the naming conventions which i propose and for every global variable we wanted to have a format of g followed by the variable name for local variables we follow the naming convention l followed by the variable names that is regarding variables and uh, uh, and parameters we always follow p followed by the name and uh, transformations so instead of the default transformation name i'm saying when there is a case transform why don't you put cs underscore name hf underscore name so that it is easy friendly you can make it as a meaningful name so but anyhow these are all optional anyhow i'm going to share this document with you whenever it is necessary you can use that but then for custom functions please make sure you put a cf before before the function so that you identify this is a custom function that is written by some of you or some of your colleagues and for the system configuration in general we propose saying you should have three environments production uh, dev and qa so uh, generally it is good to name it in the same way instead of giving your own names like uat or uh, sit so in general we call it dev qa and production so be consistent with the names so you have the table names every stage table name i wanted to give it a, a stage table starting with stg or st you can do that here uh, here i the proposed one is edb underscore st because you have more than one source if it is sales i say sls underscore stg so that we know all the stage tables belong to the uh, source uh, sales uh, sales database so in the same way it continues and uh, uh, you can look at these best practices anytime you want but uh, it is not anything mandatory that you follow this but i'm going to share you all this document it is kind of a 10 page uh, document which i wrote so that people will uh, start using it and uh, uh, build a proper uh, build a proper data flow uh, and uh, they'll have a proper recovery mechanism when they start building or working on a job so that is about the naming conventions anyhow we'll not go too much into the naming conventions because it is always good to mention about it but not uh, worth it spending too much of time so today my main purpose of opening this i wanted to show you these data flows i wanted to work on a small job and show you how i move data from source to target that is all what i wanted to do today so any questions so far guys yeah scripting yes yes i am going to even shauri has that question the next point i'm i'll be taking up is the scripting and after we do the scripting i will show you what i mean uh, uh, i mean first thing is i would rename these jobs because these are my templates i don't want to lose the template i am going to show you two ways of of doing it by replicating or by renaming that is important thing i will show you and then we'll go into the script in the next step so i have put up enough instructions here saying these are five five visually uh, workflows first workflow is what it is doing second workflow what it is doing if you expand this annotation this is the documentation which i have put in regarding my template all the documentation is embedded within the job so that you don't need to maintain a separate document and uh, try explaining everyone how to do that and the instructions on how to uh, use this a template and uh, how to re uh, i mean find and replace everything is put in uh, in here so we are going to follow the same instructions 
so for example i was telling you when you move between two environments i was asking you uh, do it in two ways whether you use the central repository that is one way the second way is uh, move it with the atl files so i'm going to show you what an atl file is these are very important to learn at the start and then uh, we we make use of them every day Be, uh, to exchange our jobs or to uh, do uh, or to do i mean to work in multi user environment so in batch jobs i will show you how to move a job first so all i'm saying is export and i told you you have to exclude the data store every time so i am excluding it and i right click on the job don't worry this is a process which will be shown to you again but why am i exporting now and i am trying what i am trying to do you will understand when you uh, watch me closely so i am exporting i am exporting i have an option before that it give i have i can export this job into a, a different database but i am exporting it into a flat file so I export to a file and the file name i am putting down here is um the same as job name edw underscore sa replace me we'll have to all also follow uh the the uh, what is it the upper case and lower case here so that it is easy for us to uh, rename it underscore job id so i uh, i am giving the same name whatever you see here and i am exporting it so where it gets exported we can go and find it it generally puts it a, a, a folder within the data services in inside the bin so when you do an installation how where to check your data services it will be not in the program files it will be in the program files that get created under it which is the x86 even i don't know why windows will create it like that but that that that, that happens it will create only in here so under this if you go and uh, try to find out where is your job it should be somewhere here oh i have put it under users document or oh, you monitored uh, the, the the location that's good man yeah perfect so here it has put i mean by default it will go into a different location but when i did a previous export if i have changed my uh, path or or by default even it would have pointed to here that is not our problem so this is the job which exported as an atl file so you can open this particular job with a notepad or a word pad so i'm opening it with a notepad so I, after i open here i have few instructions which i have put in here so if you follow the instructions it is very easy instead of uh, trying to do it your own i i generally ask everyone to follow these instructions so that it is easy for them to get their own template you see this template i have put it is a very generic template but if you want it to use it for your own purpose you will have to follow these rules get the latest from central repository export it to the atl file open atl file in editor find and replace sa replace me with a subject area like evt mbr or axm so all i am doing uh, all i am going to do is i take this word sa replace me but uh, you know one important thing this is not a recommended way of doing it from uh, data services they don't recommend this way of doing but this works fine and so everyone are following currently the same same way of of uh, putting a template so in here subject replace me i am replacing it with a demo so it gets replaced everywhere and let me go back and follow the next instruction anyhow we are not going to spend time following every instruction there so for job id so in job id replace me i will give it a job demo job only but it is a job one so in general our jobs may always grow up to 99 or 100 so 
it is good way if you put it as 001 instead of 1 so that uh, i mean in companies they put even four digit number because it can go anything up to 1000 sometimes so i'm replacing it all and then we have workflow replace me and data flow replace me we will end there we will uh, try to replace these two rest of the things that's fine let them be there uh, we'll uh, do it at later point because it is almost 11 o'clock and we have only one more hour left over so uh, we try to because this re renaming and all you can do it anytime all i'm trying to do is help you understand all this so workflow name replace me for this workflow i'm trying to put uh, maybe sales i said sales replace me and the next one the last one is data flow for data flow in general we will not generalize it instead we will put the direct table name which i am going to load my target table name so i will say sales fact that is my target table name so i am going to do the same way as sales fact table so that i know this particular data flow is going to load this particular table so i say replace all so i am done i am going to save it save as even here anyhow internally it would have got replaced but what i am trying to do is here i am again trying to name it as i have i have uh, did it right now oh we i did not do file name replace me actually i should do it but for this file i am trying to put sales and say 001 i am saving it like this it doesn't matter if you save it as a text file even it accepts that that method also uh, i mean the atl can always be put as a text even so it will accept you that should not be a problem except that i will have to do a file name replace me so that i complete the last part of it i should have file name replace me here see if i have read through these instructions properly i could have uh, did it properly but i was in hurry and did not do it so file name i put it as oh it came up different okay yeah file name is i am saying sales uh, maybe 01 file there can be more files right so i am putting it as sales uh, 01 so right now whatever the name it has been given i am trying to save it And after I go here, now I'm going to import the same job which I created. So I'm going to import this job. Mm, because it is a text file, it is not showing up as ATL. So I, I will say all files. Then it will show up here. And I say open. When I say open, it will throw you this kind of a warning. But that is fine until we are comfortable that we did it in the right way uh you are fine to import it so it should not hurt anything because today we are going to work on this job and so i am making this effort to show you all these guys so i will name it as prj or pj is also fine demo class demo uh, demo one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, anyhow, they, these are all. Uh, uh, there are definitely more than one ways to do it. So I am trying to show you one way. The other way also will be shown. But uh, you will follow these instructions and you'll be able to rename it very easily. Uh, if my, if my, if I don't know if I'll be sharing this template.